Hello everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. I come to you today in a lovely shade of green. We got a green light on. Uh, so... I, uh... I use console commands to skip this quest, because this quest sucks. Um... I found this cave that was dark and really poorly lit. Um, and it it was the the theory is that it's you know magically darkened, but it just looked bad. It, like it looked like they didn't do the lighting in it right. Um, so I managed to do that. And then I accidentally killed this beast. It was just a bear. And I was like, I, I don't care enough. So I loaded the save. You have shown your loyalty to the scar. You're damned right. Uh, I don't actually think I got the thing from the, doesn't look like I did, but I don't care because I don't want it. It's not going to be better than what I have. Shown loyalty to the skull. Prove your wisdom. I believe your heart may be one with the skull. Your mind must just be... Investigate a crime. Engar Iceman has been accused of thief. His accuser, Rigmore Halfhand, claims that Iceman stole furs from his house. These furs were in Iceman's residence. We don't take such things lightly. We have little, and each is given according to his need. This offense is punishable by exile or sacrifice to the wolves. Iceman will surely choose the wolves. Speak with a skull. Find what you need. Report to me, and the guilty may be punished appropriately. Uh, sacrifice to the wolves is an honorable death, fit for a warrior, perhaps not for a thief. Uh, Iceman would be fed to the cane lorn, the ceremonial wolves of the skull. The spirit would be purified and reborn to a new life. There are only seven for ceremonies such as this. Other times they reside in the world of the spirit with the Allfather. Iceman. Rigmar. Speak up. They really just having me do their chores for me. Like, come on, guys. May the wind be on your back. May the wind be on your back. By the gods, you're half dead. Yeah, I am. What is you ask this skull? He's a valiant warrior. Any of this skull will tell you that. Anyone who'd say different's a liar. He's proven to be brave and true, and it's impossible to imagine he'd be capable of this crime. What about the other guy? He's clever, wise, and crafty, perhaps for this, not well liked. So this guy, we must take it seriously. I understand you're investigating uh, Engar's theft. A terrible thing, but you were sent to investigate a crime. What can I do, Outlander? Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but it's been a couple of months since I last played, because I really didn't want to do that stupid quest. Um... Can't understand why he do his thing. If he had needed more furs, they would have been provided, but he stole them from my home. It's difficult to explain. I feel sorry for his lovely wife, who would be left all alone. Uh, valuable man with a skull, but he's not a caring man. He leaves his lovely wife for weeks on at a time while on the hunt. He probably stole my furs because he wasn't able to provide enough for his family. A barbaric tradition. True, the spirit may cycle back to another life, but who can stand the horror of it? Yes, I understand you are investigating Engar Well, I wonder what could have possibly happened. Because no one believes that he stole them. There's no evidence that he stole them besides the fact that they are just in his home. And, uh, the quote-unquote victim is, uh, super incensed about, uh, uh, this guy's wife. Exile. A horrible punishment, especially for an honest man, to live without my skull family. Wander aimlessly through the life without the spirit to guide me. Living outside the oneness of the land would be hell, Outlander. Well, what about, uh, Rigmore? I had no quarrel with him until this day. I thought I'm a friend. To my family and to my wife, especially. Oh, he was friendly to your wife. <laughs> uh, while I was on the hunt, he was known to keep counsel with her and others who remained in the village. And now this from him. 
Uh, she's my wife, a wise and beautiful woman. Her life's not easy, as I'm often gone for weeks on hunt. But she's strong, and her children will be fine warriors. Can we clock this guy already? Who cares what kind of rock? May the wind be on your back. The hell are you talking about? That's about Rizzy. Some people are born dumb. Like me, for instance. <laughs> me too, dude. Alright, warrior. Same old, same old. My son. My poor son. Please. Please help. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to get involved. I mean, I am, but not that bad. You're the one who investigated crime and blamed on my husband. How can I help you? Hank, I would never do such a thing. He's a man of honor and we want for nothing. Can't imagine what would drive Rigmore to make an accusation. Perhaps he's jealous of my husband and the charges are meant to disgrace him. Well, I'm glad that somebody in this stupid village has some sort of sense. Hey, dummy, you I did your chores. Have you done this? More inform- what the- A fine-looking woman, well-bred. Okay. Oh Lord. May the wind be on your Is it this house? Should I be looking at like pelts in particular? Valiant Warrior. Okay, same deal. Investigate a crime. He's been a good friend of me to this accusation. We had spent some time together, but now he's decided to ruin my family. Oh, brother. Uh, deserving of better than her husband. Were I her mate, she would lead a much better life. How does it want me to... How does it want me to do this? Why you gotta get involved, man? Why do all these people gotta get involved? Like... I know there's only like five houses here, but I am still getting lost. Investigate a crime. Your husband, this guy. Hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this thing isn't even well hidden. Dear Izzy, why will you not see me? You know how I feel. And I know you feel the same about me. Simply consent to speak to me. Just a word, a moment with you. To ease my soul. If I can't be with you, I'll have to resort to something dramatic. Consider your feelings. Your husband's allowed away for weeks at a time with no consideration for your needs. I've always been there for you. Always will be. We should be together. Yada yada. You found the letter, have you not? It's true that he and I had a brief affair, but that's ended. He refuses to let me go, though. I fear that he has caused this trouble to get rid of Engar. You must put a stop to this. 
already on it. By the gods, you're half dead. By the gods, you're half dead. Collection of morons. Your story? Head on. Just a bunch of cold, Head snowy idiots. Dead. Where's our, uh, is this you? You, who are to be my judge, what would you ask of me? Rizzy. Yeah. How about investigate a crime? Let's go see if we can beat a confession out of this guy. You found the letter, but why would... This is an outrage. I never... I only wanted the woman... Why did that fool have to choose the wolves? He could have just left and I could have been, she and I could have been together forever. You know my crime and I know you must tell Hartfang. Let us go to him and I will accept my fate. Yeah, this is all your fault. The issue is that she didn't want you, not that there was uh, a man in question. Because if there was an affair ongoing, like if there hadn't been a husband in the first place, she still would have broken up with you. Probably. Hafan has invented this tale of theft over a woman. By the Allmaker, this will not go unpunished. Making a false accusation carries the same penalty of the crime that is claimed. Uh, in this case, either exile or death by sacrifice. The verdict is yours. Cool. I'm just checking the wiki to see. More honorable death, perhaps. Ceremonial wolves would be sh summoned by the shaman, and the half hand would be fed to them. In that way, his spirit can be purified and reborn, perhaps to a better life than one that he has chosen to throw away. The verdict is yours. Let's feed him. To the wolves, then. You've shown mercy, Galena and Pitchblend. Allow him to die with his honor. Perhaps you have some wisdom after all. Leave the prisoner outside that he may accept his sentence. The shaman will summon the, ca uh, the cane lorn to perform their function, but first, accept this token. It's unlikely, but perhaps you too can be more like the wolves we revere. Oh yeah, I put this stupid bear helmet on. Well, it looks terrible, I've got to say. I have nothing to say, my time is done. You're damn right. Shouldn't have been starting shit. You know? If you hadn't been starting shit, this wouldn't have happened. This is all your fault. Oh, cool. I gotta take this stupid helmet off. It looks so bad. It just makes me better at sneaking. I don't care. I don't need to sneak, dog. Oh, we saw him get lightly chewed on by uh, some wolves and then he fell over. Did someone just fart? Alright, talk to me. Uh, proven your, oh my god, prove your thing again. Go to Lake Fjelding, mark on your map. Seek out this guy who went there. He will give you further instruction on the northern shore of the lake. Often used as a mating ground for the horkers. Lake Fjelding, I've been there in fact, good. And then I just gotta walk around the north side. It is good to play Morrowind again. One of the, um, inspiration shall we say to play Morrowind again was I uh, I started catching up on kill six billion demons which if you don't know uh, there we go 
Kill Six Billion Demons is a webcomic. Initially, I think it was like a, um... Cool. Initially, I think it was supposed to be like a... MS Paint Adventures thing, where like, you actually have to go through an up... Well, is that what I'm going for? Because that looks like it. You like had choices to make and kill stuff, but now it's just a, you know, regular comic. What the hell? Um, anyway, so one of the things about Kill Six Billion Demons is that, like, reach heaven through violence is one of the, like, common repeated, uh, like, things in it. Um, and like the 36 Lessons of Vivek, there's a bunch of fake, like, verses. Like, not quite like a Bible verse, but like, you know, meant to kind of feel like it, except way, way more violent. Uh, and I don't know, something about reading Kill Six Billion Demons just makes me want to play Morrowind. It could literally just be that, um, it was heavily Morrowind-inspired. Because there is a lot of stuff, like, in it that is... very Morrowind-inspired. A lot of the art kind of looks like, um... The stuff Michael Kirkbride drew. Michael Kirkbride, uh, I don't think drew, I don't think he drew a lot of, well, I'm not going somewhere I'm not supposed to. Right now I'm just exploring and having a good time. Michael Kirkbride didn't draw a lot of, um, concept art. As far as I know. Allegedly though, he had this system where he would draw something like he wanted it. And then he wouldn't send that to Todd. He would send, sorry, so he would, he would draw something that he liked. And then he would draw a crazy mad as fuck version. I think that's even the term he used. Uh, but he would draw a crazy version and then he would send the crazy version to Todd and Todd would be like, uh, great, but tone it down a little bit, you know, or make it easier to model, you know, make it easier to code because, uh, it's a little much. And he'd say, oh, well, certainly Mr. Howard. And then he would, uh, wait a bit and then send over what he actually wanted. Jogger Lord A's lip. Got a cook pot. I probably need this on, right? Aislip is dead. I do, in fact. Cool. Come on. Follow up. Thank you. Oh, a dire frost, Atronach. Everyone knows you can just slap dire onto something to make it better. But yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be involved in a... Um, I intend to get involved with game development, but I don't know if I'll ever be involved with it in a sense that, like, I need to, like, play around executives. But that's definitely something I should consider. You know, if somebody's like, 
Hey, I don't know about your uh, concept art drawings. I'll just start drawing really crazy ones and then later submit a semi-crazy one. Uh, getting off topic, but Kill Six Billion Demons looks a lot like the crazy art. It also looks like some of the art that um, I think he did for Coda, which I guess uh, is in some spaces referred to as Tomorrowwind. Like tomorrow, because it's in the future. Hardy har har, Mr. Kirkbride. Wow, that looks a lot better. The lighting in this game is really bad. I'll be honest. Like, I know it works and all, but like, when you're carrying a torch... Get the sword out, thank you. You can't actually, um, let me see here, what do I need? <laughs> oh, those are the spells that I actually have. Well, fuck that. Cool. All right. Is that a dire, dire frost atronach? Well, I hope I didn't like need anything down here. I'm gonna check that, in fact. Uh, yeah, I just checked the wiki. Turns out that, of course, this is the correct place to go. Uh, I just failed to talk to the guy. And, like, let's be honest here. The reason I came down here was because I saw something that looked like an opening, and I was like, oh, cool, I want to go in there. Because this game does have a great deal of just good dang exploration. But, yeah. Um, it's not actually bad to have killed Azlip as well. It's just one way to do the quest. And you know I love solving my problems with murder. It's the traditional Dunmer fashion. I definitely, I think I've mentioned this, but like, oh yeah, um, I just remembered, like, I recorded those things, uh, I recorded the last two episodes before, um, before the announcement about the new Skyrim came. But, uh, yeah, new Skyrim. And again, it is still fitting that I'm playing Blood Moon, uh, on Skyrim Day. Ten years out, in fact. Uh, but I do intend to play Skyrim at some point. I've, uh, I haven't gotten to play, I mean, as I record this, this is still before the, what is it called, Legendary Edition? Skyrim Maximum Super Extreme Ultra Special Edition, I guess. Um, it's still before that's come out. So I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. Um, but I intend to at some point. I intend to play through Skyrim for the channel as well. Because uh, I do really like the Elder Scrolls. I don't know if it's like my favorite game. Well, I do know that it's not my favorite game, as a matter of fact. But the thing is, like, the problem with, you know, I saying I like the Elder Scrolls is like, well, I like Morrowind, uh, but it has a busted magic system and it's kind of ugly and the lighting is bad and uh, 30 other problems with it. But it is pretty damn cool and it has a great story and I, I love being a part of this world, you know? 
And Skyrim looks pretty good. Um, but the story suffers for it, and there's not as much, you know, fun stuff to do. Uh, and I haven't played Oblivion, but... Oh, you're here. Oh, I see. What of Aeslip? You were sent to kill the powerful Drog. Well, I wasn't. Creatures defeated, and from what you say, there was more to be found in those caves. You've done well. Return to the Skull Village, and I'll meet you there. Uh, well, good. Um, I'm glad I accidentally did that. I'm still recording, yes? Yes, I am. Well, la-dee-da. Skull Village is here. Cool. Oh, yes, and at some point I do need to return south and uh, work on Raven Rock. But yeah, like, I do like all the Elder Scrolls, um, except Arena, Daggerfall, and Oblivion, because I haven't played them. Although, I definitely intend to try playing Daggerfall. Um, it has a bit of random generation, which means that arguably it could be considered a roguelike or roguelite. But the thing is, is that it doesn't have enough rogue stuff to be really... You know like it one way or another but I'm still very interested in it um, I do love games that have random generation uh, I don't know if arena has the same thing great all you return from the lake you return from the lake you continue to surprise me I uh, have matters to attend to now we'll speak again soon that I promise you Please, you must help. The village is... Oh, there we go. Outside, quickly. Yeah, I kind of figured. It's like... That's... That's super scary. Oh my... Oh my god! It's like 30 of them. It looks like it isn't like a true... That guy's just striding like nothing. It doesn't look like it's a true like war because you can go outside. It looks like they're just playing through shit. Like they're just playing the sound. How do we do? Okay, so there wasn't 30, but there was like 10 out here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Wow. They they ran so fast that I thought that there were more of them. 30 werewolves. There's seven. <laughs> okay. Get my bonking stick ready. Hell yeah, spear up. Yowza! Heartfang is nowhere to be found, but all of them are dead. And this guy got got pretty hard. What am I wearing? Just pants. Wolf queer ass, wearing boots, pauldrons, gauntlets. This is how I will remember you. I've lost one of the pauldrons actually. See if I can't find it in here. What is that? Right pauldron? I would put on a left one. I do love the fashionable asymmetry. 
Uh, well, cool. Is that a spear? Very low in damage, but that's okay. Uh, wow, werewolves, huh? That, uh, they ain't no shit. I know you have been infected. I've only just arrived into this whore. It's good you were here to protect these people. I've been infected. Aren't I immune? You don't know about the skull. My worst fears have been realized. You only need a pitch blend. Uh, these creatures are wolves, as you know. This is not a good omen for the village, and I have more troubling news. I use the magic to detect the infection. The bees leave in the wake. You have been infected. It seems innocent enough. Some weakness. Sometimes the effects are hardly noticeable. In three days' time, the victim will become a werewolf. It's a fate I would not wish among my greatest foe. Uh, during these three days, a cure disease spell can stop the infection. I beg you to do this. Until then, I cannot allow you to be a part of our community, perhaps infecting others. When you have been cured, I hope you will return to us again. Uh-oh. Uh, cure disease. Okay. Do I... Sanus Lupinius. Let's see if I've got something here. Ah, I no longer sense the infection in you. Good. It never should have been there in the first place. I mean, come on now. Uh, I'm happy for you and for the Skull. You've proven a valuable member of this community. True to our people, and the Skull name, you Blood Skull. A blood friend to our people. You'll be given a home here, Rigmore Happens, former residence, in which you may rest. Uh, and you may take part in the restog. The ceremony of blessing and cleansing we perform rarely. These are frightening times. There have been ominous portents, and they concern me. Artfang is missing. I fear that the Allmaker does not breathe freely on the skull this day. Ceremony must be completed, but you gotta go do some more chores for us. It's an artifact called Powerful Beasts. Uh, go south. Stolen many years ago. Foolish to believe we it would not be needed again. Tombs of Scalara to the east and south. Please return the totem. Okay, never eat. So okay, east and south. So here? Yeah. May the wind be on your back. They said east and a little south. Maybe there's a path I should follow. Oh, brother. Not seeing much in the way of paths. That crazy... That Nord just came running at me with a stick. Why are they like this? Why, why, why are they all like this? Yow. See, the hags are a bit more um, dangerous. Oh, yeah, on the topic of liking the Elder Scrolls, I feel like Fallout should be included in there. Like, I know that the first few Fallouts are not. Like, the first few fallouts are, of course, not, um, uh, Elder Scrolls's. One and two, and some people include tactics. That's West. Um. Frossel. Is my short blade maxed out? It is, in fact. Alright, skull, test of strength. 
Siege of the Skull Village. Totem of Klonfang. Let's see where these tombs are, shall we? Okay, I'm in the right vicinity for them. That's good. Actually, this is, this is something kind of annoying. I do like like trying to level up all my skills, but like it is a little annoying that like I just feel like I'm wasting the wasting energy for for like doing uh, a skill that I've already leveled, you know, for using a maxed out skill. Wow. It's why I actually do really like the ability to reset your uh, a level in Skyrim. Also, so you can keep leveling. That's neat. So, do they just have a chance to infect me? Because I imagine that was probably a scripted thing. Because I see no other reason that it could get through my corpus. Like, for the sake of Pete, I got divine disease and lived. Well, I guess everyone with divine disease lives. They just, you know, lose their sanity and mutate into monsters. Maybe I can pick this one, eh? One arrow and some boots. Fantastic. I'm really glad that other games just let you, like, hit the use key and start picking it. It's so obtuse to take the weapon out of your hand. Take the weapon out of your hand. Right. To take the weapon out of your hand, put a lockpick in it, and then attack it with a lockpick. Like, that's just kind of silly. You know, considering the Nordic veneration for um, wolves and the idea that werewolves are like a mutation of that, it makes sense not only that like Blood Moon is about a uh, mini Skyrim getting a, a werewolf plague, but also that the companions in uh, Skyrim the video game are all about like resisting like her scene and getting to getting to the real Nordic afterlife. Especially because the companions are like as close to the original Nords as you can get. Because the guy that founded the Companions also founded Skyrim. Uh, and he wasn't really a Nord, he was an Atmoran, but the Atmorans came south after the continent froze. Uh, and I don't know how, like, accurate that phrase is, but it appears to be the case that, like, yes, the whole continent froze solid. Ugh, bop my back, don't mind me. Anyway, so yeah, the whole continent froze solid, and then, um... They had to find a new place to live, so they came south. What is Shadow Sting? It's a long blade. Stock fabric tear sound doesn't really sound that much like Flash Guys. I 
I guess turning them invisible probably has something to do with their, like, detection. Oh, it does poison them, though. Then again. Like, making them invisible appears to completely ruin your ability to hit someone. So, like, why would you do it? Whatever, that's fine. How many, do I have any more of those? I do have some tongs. Don't mind the clanging. I, I assure you, I'm just clicking very fast. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else in here? Nope, I'm done. Cool. Oh yeah, earlier I was talking about like Fallout. Um, I do want to, like, include Fallout in, like, the Elder Scrolls, especially the ones after Tactics. Because, like, come on. They're the same engine and they have a lot of the same problems. Oh yeah, I haven't gone down here. Or have I? Locked to complete. What the hell? Oh, cool. Uh, I retrieved it. Awesome. I'm very glad I'd hear that, in fact. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, like, the fact that the skull venerate wolves and the skull appear to be, like, a little more classic Atmoran, almost more so than, like, regular Nords... And then the fact that the companions also have a wolf thing, but like it's been distorted. Like the, the, the disparity between like a violent, aggressive werewolf versus a honest part of nature, regular wolf. The fact that like, that's important to like uh, Morins and that that's what the companions and the skull are both like getting in a fight over. That's cool. I like that. I never really thought about that before. But I guess that's the uh, the deal with... Cool. Heading the right way. I guess that's the, like, the link that the companions have to Atmora. There are really good stories in these games. Like, I know that I was just complaining about, like, Skyrim's lack of, like, a story, and, like, it doesn't really have one. It has a good story. Or even, like, a bunch of good small stories. And there are problems with the way that it gets around that, but... I heard a... I, I saw a post that I don't know if I agree with. But somebody was like, if somebody says a game has a good story, what they mean is that it has a story. And if a game has a good story, then that means that you can safely ignore the story. And, like... I don't know if I agree with that Speak because on. obviously there are some games where it's like, it's just fun to just blow through the story and like ignore what the hell is happening and just have good time. All right. You got it. Cool. It's good news. Take this as a totem of thanks. 
uh, hope your efforts have not left you drained. There's much to do. I'll share with you knowledge. We can summon wolves to fight by our sides, and you possess this. Uh, the restag will be performed. Uh, meet with Rolf Longtooth, one of our skull hunters. Find him at Lake Fjelding. Tell you more about the restag and the part you play. Greetings, Blood Skull. You and I must speak of the restag. Back to Lake Fjeld. Like, why am I going back to Lake Fjelding? I was just there. Like, it was a couple of quests ago. I know that I am kind of breezing through this. But, like... Are there only so many locations in this DLC that they can send me? Like, I, I, as far as I know, like, this half of the map is all Skull stuff, and this half of the map is all, like, Imperial stuff and Raven Rock. So, like, maybe there's just only so many locations. Honestly, the nerve of you people. Oh, brother. Do I have any stamina potions? That might do. Like, again, not to complain about a thing that I have complained about hundreds of times already. But if this game's speed wasn't so low, I wouldn't have to constantly be sprinting. The speed is very low. There. Yeah, fall over. Die, rotten hell. I'm gonna drink whatever I found on you. Oh, now what? Uh You want some? I forget. It might have been this game, but like I feel kind of cheated that like this is your big fancy DLC, but they're just having you go back around to like older stuff. I don't know. Um, I should probably cut it here, though, because I've been recording for a bit. Uh, I've been Alfred, and this has been a uh, green edition of uh, Blood Moon. Um, I might be getting close to the end here. I'm going to do more Raven Rock stuff, so expect that. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.